So finally we are beginning the video of this batting stance. So let's see what it's all about. Uh, before that, can I ask you a few questions like, have you come across people who tell you that in order to improve your batting, you need to change your batting stance? And they will tell you a few things like your head is not in position, your leg is not balanced and so on and so forth. Are they telling you the right things? How important is a batting stance? Do you need to change your batting stance? Do you need to copy someone's batting stance? What is a batting stance? All these questions today will answer in this video. So stick till the end and I'll tell you about two things about the batting stance. One is the ideal way, what we have been learning. The second one, how to develop your own natural stance and the and one bonus thing I'll tell you about power position. How to get into power positions when the game changes and also you can change your game and hit those big success. So stick till the end. So let's begin the first part of this video which is about what is an ideal batting stance. Okay, so ideal batting stance which you have been learning which you might have learned from your coach or your friends or whatever it is. So there are five body parts which you need to focus on when you're doing this. One is your feet. Feet should be shoulder width apart. What is the shoulder width? Feet should be shoulder width apart like this. Second thing is your hips. Hips should be straight, parallel and pointing towards the bowler. Third is your shoulders which is again nicely parallel to your hips and again pointing towards the bowler. And they are parallel, they are definitely pointing towards the bowler, right? And uh, the fourth thing is your head. Yeah, the important part which you need to really really focus is your head which should be steady nice and straight it should not be like going up and down going up and down down when you are picking up the bat like this and it should be over the shoulder like this <sighs> what did i miss eyes yes eyes eyes nice and straight level and if you have played pubg if you use sniper rifles you will know that your aim should be straight right if it's wobbling not be able to hit it so please make sure your head is nice eyes are level and watching the ball now why is it important because it will help you to judge the line and length of of the ball better and in turn what that does is it will help you to play the shots better so focus on these things and uh, that's how is a batting stance before we head further i'll call you about few names just remember this shivnar and chandrapal kevin peterson Hashim Amla, Steve Smith. What is common in these names? Their batting stance. If you see the batting stance is very unusual. For example, Kevin Peterson has a really wide stance. Uh, Steve Smith, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, but if you look at the scoring of those runs, wow, what these guys have scored, tremendous runs they have scored. What does that tell you? Let's go and copy those guys. No not copying those guys so that you can also score their runs why i made that point is because batting stance which they have works for them it's their own it's natural as again and again i'll tell you it works for them it's very natural they are very comfortable in the batting stance so you also need to find your natural batting stance virat kohli has an ideal batting stance which most people have but he also scores a lot of runs so there is no right and wrong answers here so what I'm telling you is, develop your own natural stance, do not copy anyone else's. Now the question, how do I develop my own natural batting stance? Answer these three simple questions and I think you will get your natural stance. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so answer these three important questions and you will get your natural batting stance. One, whatever batting stance you have, okay, whatever batting stance you have, are you comfortable in that? That is one question. Second question to ask yourself is, will this batting stance help me to move according to the ball front and back as per the ball? Third thing is, are you able to see the ball properly with this batting stance of yours? If all these questions are positive, please use that as a batting stance. No matter if it looks similar, same, it doesn't have to look weird. So that's your natural batting stance. So here you go, you learn two things. How to develop your natural batting stance and second is what is an ideal batting stance which you can develop so the last thing the bonus thing which i wanted i promised you is how to get into power positions it's very fairly simple what you do is this is your ideal batting stance and what you do is in this position you get your feet a little bit wider than naturally you do slightly knees inside 
open up your stance towards the bowler a little bit like this there you go that's your power position try this and let me know if it worked for you do use this when you're going for big hits do not use this all the time because you have to adapt your game according to the game situations right so hopefully you learn something new and you enjoyed this video and i'll try and keep making this video more often uh, thank you for watching the videos and for my hindi subscribers and my kannada subscriber there is another video in kannada and hindi as well so please do not forget to watch those videos as well bye bye Thank you.